Tom Hunt. Madam Deputy Speaker. Oxbridge Colleges. So I was very pleased to see the Prime Minister intervene and, and, and object to the appalling uh, news that Magdalen College Oxford had taken down a portrait of a Queen. But of course this isn't isolated, it's not an isolated incident. Today I'm hearing that the 150 academics at Oil College Oxford are refusing to teach because they haven't taken down the Rose statue. And then also this week we've heard disturbing news that Churchill College Cambridge are considering changing the name of a college to make the college seem more inclusive. I know historically there's been lots of eccentric left-wing academics at Oxford and Cambridge, but the sheer frequency in which these events are cropping up. What can, will my right honourable friend provide time for us to discuss what we can do to prevent the wokeification of Oxford's colleges? Edith the House. Uh, thank you, um, Madam Deputy Speaker. I mean, as for Magdalen College, it's not exactly 1687-88. It's a few pimply adolescents getting excited and taking down a picture of Her Majesty. It makes Magdalen look pretty wet, but it's not the end of the world. I wouldn't get too excited about that, though it does amuse me to speculate as to what would happen if one of Her Majesty's subjects suggested taking down the Stars and Stripes in an American university. It might not be enormously well received, and as I think the pimply adolescent in question is an American citizen, he might like to think about that. Um, he might think that taking down the US flag in an American university was a bridge too far, uh, even for the most patriotic Britain. Um, as regards the academics refusing to teach, I mean, I'm half tempted to say you should be lucky not to be taught by such a useless bunch. <laughs> that, um, if they are that, if they're that feeble, what are you missing? And what are they doing there? Why don't they have any pride in their country, our marvellous history and our success? And Rhodes is not a black and white figure. Perhaps they're not learned enough to have bothered to look up the history of Rhodes in any detail, which has been written about quite extensively now. And as I say, he is a figure of importance and of interest and of enormous generosity to Oxford. Do they want to give the money back to the descendants of Cecil Rhodes, or are they intending to keep it to themselves? So we must not allow this wakeness to happen. The idea of changing Churchill College, well, perhaps we should introduce a bill to rename Cambridge Churchill and call it Churchill University, and that would be one in the eye for the lefties. Yeah.